We live in a busy time and in a busy culture, and the constant noise reflects that. Cars honking, ads selling, music playing, text tones ringing. But out here, deep in the Caribou Mountains, there's no noise, only the sounds of water pushing against my waders. Of the river as it flows over rocks, of my fly line cutting through the air. And for some reason, these sounds help me to see life more clearly. One of the things that I've that I've found about fishing Quinell Lake is that is that uh, where whatever stream we end up at, there's there's a bit of a there's a bit of a trek to get there, and today we're going to be in a jet boat, um, and we're uh, we're guided by a fellow named Doug, and he's going to be taking us up the lake. It's about an hour hour and a half boat ride up the lake to uh, to a few different tributaries that we're going to be finding, and he's t he's told us that um, that we're in for you know we're in for some amazing scenery as we're as we're moving up the lake. Well, today was, uh, again, a different kind of fishing. We were uh, fished the mouths of these creeks in Quinell Lake, and um, these are gathering points for the, the salmon that are spawning and the trout find the salmon. Later on, um, I hooked a, a good-sized fish. I knew immediately it was a good-sized fish because he's doing the big head shake routine. And there was a point where Jim hooked a fish and, and his rod was like, it was pretty much maxed out. And he was fighting that fish for a bit. And I was like, wow, he's got, he's got something really big on. You know, as soon as it was kind of at his feet, um, there was, you know, just some immense excitement because it, was, it wasn't a bull trout, it was a lake trout. And it was quite Whoa. a large lake trout. I came over and, and uh, helped him with the landing of it. And then, and then after we, you know, after we did that, I moved back up into my position that I was fishing. And uh, the first, I think it was the first or second cast after that, I hooked into something that I thought was, you know, very, very large. Oh, it's the, it's a lake trout, isn't it? It's another lake trout, you guys. And I got a lake trout as well, and I'd never caught a lake trout before in my life. So within kind of like, within probably 15, I would say 10 or 15 minutes of each other, um, Jim and I, we both landed our first lake trout, which was, uh, to me, that actually, that made the day. Like that was, that was so exciting. You know, after Jim and I had both landed fish that, you know, the guides weren't even expecting that there would be any lake trout there. Blue Lead Creek, which is a very unusual name for a stream. It comes, again, back off the mountains uh, into, into Quinell Lake, and, and it's a little different because it has a, a big, long area of weightable sort of gravel shoreline. Uh, I caught a really a good rainbow in there that was, uh, his belly was sort of distended from whatever it is he'd been eating recently. That was the best rainbow oh, I've uh, got rainbow. through the oh, day, I'm sure. Really nice rainbow. Yeah. It wasn't long after I'd stepped into the water, I think maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, you know, I took a cast. I felt the hit, and then it, it heads back down to the water, and I'm bringing that fish in, and then all of a sudden my rod just goes straight over. Sure enough, it was, you know, this fish is actually taking out line, and I realized that there was actually probably about a 25 inch bull trout that had latched onto that, that small rainbow and wasn't letting it go. Like I saw this guy come up and come up and hit it, right? And I'm like, that's not very big. And then all of a sudden my lines- The day, my rods overall the day I think really represented the whole idea of connections really, really well. And certainly centered on the remarkable trip that these salmon make. Yeah, we weren't even trying to catch the salmon but they, they were kind of the focal point of the whole thing. And, and without them, 
doing what they do. Um, the trout would not be doing what they do and we would not be doing what we're doing.